Okay, hey guys, what's up? It is Texamo here. So, welcome to another video of mine. So yeah, today I'll be unboxing uh, something. So, today I'll be unboxing the Xbox After Effects AX1 wired controller. Uh, so, yeah. So the reason I got this Xbox controller is because I wanted to uh, play my PC games using an Xbox controller because um, I thought, uh, I heard that it's really, I heard it's much better and in uh, a lot of games that I play, um, they're kind of hard to play with the keyboard, so I decided to go get an Xbox controller. So, um, this is the one that I got. It cost me $20 on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can check that out. I'm not sure how long they're going to have that sale for, but the retail price for this is $30. You can get it at your uh, local stores such as Walmart, Target, you name it. Uh, for 30 bucks, but Amazon has it for 20 right now, and if you're an Amazon Prime member, you get free shipping, so I'm an Amazon Prime member, so I got free shipping, uh, but the only downside for Amazon is um, if you don't, if you're not an Amazon Prime member, it will cost you five bucks for shipping, uh, and uh, if you live in a state where Amazon taxes you, then there there's tax too, which um, is a downside, so depending on where you live, you can go get it at a local store, it'll be the same price as online. So, uh, let's begin. You guys are probably you guys have probably looked at um, most of the box. So you have the front where the controller is, and of course this controller lights up. But right now it's um, translucent because it's not connected to any power sources. Um, it is an Xbox licensed um, controller. It is the number one selling wired controller. I think, uh, well, I hope that's right because I bought it for one of those reasons, and uh, it comes in four um, different colors. So yeah, On the back you have this really cool um, picture of the controller. So this is side view. All right, so uh, let's get unboxing. This. And uh, here it is. So when you open it up, this is what you have. And let's try to pull this thing out. Um, I know there's this little thing that's in the way. And no. Right. Or I could just rip the box. There we go. Guess I could just rip the box open. So you have this little thing right here. Don't need that. And then uh, you have this little translucent thing. And you have the controller itself. It looks really cool. Oh my god. It looks cool. Uh, this thing really made it look stupid, but when you actually see the actual thing, it looks cool. And it feels really cool too. There it is. Right there. All right, all right, all right. Looks like there's a little bit more tape. Let me get to that real quickly. I think there's some right here. Yes, there is. Let me get to that. I will. Um, at the end of this video, I will turn it on. And um, at the moment, I do not own an Xbox 360. I don't think I ever will. Um, but uh, this is for PC gaming purposes that I got this for. Um, why is it not coming out? Alright, so we have the controller itself right here and uh, we have some instructions. Alright, let's uh, take a closer look at all that. Alright, so uh, we are taking a closer look at the controller itself right now. As you can see, it is a awesome looking translucent controller. You can see all the circuits and everything. I mean, not circuits, I mean you can see all the stuff that's inside of it. So, yeah. Um, it feels really, uh, it feels just like a normal Xbox controller. I have used one before. Um, and uh, the cable, it's really long. I think it's t um, 10 feet long. And uh, you have the instructions right here on how to put it into an Xbox. But um, you guys can look at that if you want. I don't think you guys can really see that, but uh, it's pretty straightforward. Just connect it into your Xbox or PC. Uh, if it's the PC, it'll install drivers, Xbox, just work out of the box. So, uh, yeah, let me uh, try connecting this to my PC and uh, let's see if the color, um, if, the, if it starts glowing and if the uh, drivers start installing. So here is the really long cable. It's pretty long. All right, uh, let me connect it to my computer. All right, you guys, I'm about to connect this to my uh, computer right now. All right, I heard it um, come up on the computer. Let, let's go see if uh, it's installing the driver. And of course, it's installing the drivers on my computer. 
So um, that's awesome. Uh, let's go check out the controller right now. All right, so um, it's actually still installing the drivers. Um, so it's been a second. Let's uh, turn this thing on. Is it working? No, it's not working. Hold on, let me see. Uh, let me make sure it's finished installing the drivers. All right, you guys, um, it has finished installing the drivers. So um, as you can see, the uh, player one light has been lit up. Now uh, let's turn on the actual uh, controller light. As you can see, um, it just flashed uh, the light, and what that means is instead of um, when it when it vib uh, when it vibrates, it will um, flash on the light. So um, when the controller decides when um, when the controller is going to vibrate, it will also flash the lights. Or you can pick uh, or you can press that little button again, and uh, it will stay on uh, forever. So until you turn it off, of course. So this looks really, really cool. Let me turn off the lights and uh, let's see how this thing looks. Uh, here, hold on, you guys. I'm just gonna turn it off. There we go. That looks really cool in real life. It looks, it looks really orangey and a little weird on the camera, but in real life, this thing looks really cool. So I will make a follow-up video for this controller. Um, so in the future, I will make a follow-up controller for this. I mean, not follow-up controller, follow-up video for this controller. So, uh, this is uh, Ben Texamo, and I just unboxed the Afterglow um, AX1 wired controller for Xbox. So, um, I will uh, catch you guys later. I will make a follow-up video for this very, very soon. So, thanks for watching.